everyone. It's Michelle and Shirley uh, for CPR Cayman. Um, thank you for joining Happy us. Friday. Happy Friday. It's Friday the 1st of November. Um, we're just standing in front of the Legislative Assembly building in front of our beautiful parliamentary building um, with the six years of the crest celebrating our constitution. And you know what? We celebrated our constitution by initiating the first ever people's initiated referendum. Um, Woohoo, okay, man. What, what? You, you shine. <laughs> So um, we're out here because the parliamentary debates happened this week. Um, it was very interesting uh, turn of events in the in the parliamentary procedure, um, as the debate centered mainly around personal accusations rather than anything Business. of anything of substance towards the bill. Um, we did issue a legal opinion um, over the weekend, so the 27th or 28th of October, um, about our concerns, and most of our concerns are in relation to the the date of the referendum, the fact that 220 registered voters will no longer be allowed to um, vote in that particular date, the fact that they've allowed um, alcohol. alcohol on referendum day and they've never done that on any other election day or and referendum, a and a national count instead of individual, instead of individual uh, constituency counts. Um, on top of that, and this is my personal concern, is that our petition said, the specific wording of it was that the proposed cruise birthing facility, a matter of national importance, be decided by referendum. In no way does that wording say that we had anything to do with the cargo facility. The government has deliberately put that in to as a scare tactic. That is completely a scare tactic to believe that if we don't build a cruise birthing facility, then we won't be having a cargo facility or an enhanced cargo facility. And that is not true in any way. In 2015, uh, they dismissed the cargo facility because they believed that the best option for them was to move the cargo facility to be relocated because it's not sustainable for the cargo facility to be in the same place as the cruise birthing facility. Or uh, where they want to revitalize Georgetown. Or when they want to revitalize Georgetown. And Kenneth mentioned that in his parliamentary debate. Listen to his parliamentary debate if you can. Um, but I just, for me personally, I want the cargo facility out of the question. It, it was not contemplated in 2015 as part of the business case, as part of the Baird report, the EIA that was done. Um, and it was not contemplated by our particular petition. So they deliberately added in the cargo facility to scare people. So and the, crew, the cargo uh, shipping companies have no plans to bring bigger ships. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah. So again, go to CPRKman.com. Check us out. Read what we're putting out. We're putting out information as fast as we get it. Um, you know, every time the government releases something, we're subsequently doing our response to it. So please, please, please keep checking CPR Cayman. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Check vote us vote no. Check us out on YouTube. Vote check us no. out on Twitter. And as Shirley says, vote, vote no. On December vote no. 19th. There's on December. no other option. Vote no. Yeah. Not coming out on the day is a vote in favor. We need 50% plus one. So make sure if you have any concerns about this that you come out on referendum day and you vote no. Thank you again for make joining sure us. Make sure you're in that 50% plus one yep. for no. So thank you for joining us again on this Friday, the 1st of November. Um, and we'll see you guys next week. Have a good weekend.